Hey, today we've got a short practical lesson. We're learning five phrasal verbs that you can use at work to sound more professional. So let's get started. Before we jump into the lesson, don't forget to check out my Essential English for Business course. I've created this self-study course to help you take your business English to the next level and teach you how to communicate confidently, clearly, and professionally at work. You can check out the course by clicking the link just below this lesson. All right, our first phrasal verb is draw up draw up. Now draw up means to prepare a written document, a written plan, a written agreement or a written contract in detail. So a lot of people don't know the correct verb or phrasal verb to use in these situations. And I have heard a lot of people saying make. However, make is not the best choice. It's much more common to use the phrasal verb draw up. For example, I'll have my lawyer draw up the contract. I'll have my lawyer draw up the contract. This actually means I will have my lawyer create or draft the contract, all right? Another example, we should be able to draw up a plan by the end of the week. We should be able to draw up a plan by the end of the week. Or you can ask someone, how long do you need to draw up a plan? How long do you need to draw up an agreement? How long do you need to draw up the contract? All right, phrasal verb number two is step down. Now, step down means to leave or resign a high level position. And usually we use this when someone is pressured or forced to leave their position. So it's not necessarily that they want to quit, but there's some situation that sort of pushes them or forces them to do that. For example, the CEO was forced to step down after the scandal. The CEO was forced to step down after the scandal. So maybe this CEO did not want to quit his job. He did not want to resign, but there was a public scandal and maybe it was online or in the news and he felt like he had no choice but to give up his job. Another example, there's been a lot of pressure for the president to step down. There's been a lot of pressure for the president to step down. So obviously presidents of countries don't just quit their job or quit being president. Either their term ends, they're impeached or they're kicked out of office, or in some cases, they step down in some very rare cases, all right? So perhaps the citizens of this country have been protesting or there was some kind of controversy or some kind of scandal or something of the sort, and there has been pressure for the president to step down. And one more example, he had no choice but to step down after the board voted. He had no choice but to step down after the board voted, all right? So again, step down means to resign or give up or leave a high level position. And this normally happens when someone is pressured to do so. So you will likely see this in the news and you can use it when you are talking about someone else stepping down or if you yourself, unfortunately, um, are put in a position where you have to step down. Next, we have two phrasal verbs that are quite similar, lay off or let go, lay off or let go. Now lay off or let go is when a company is forced or put in a position where they have to release their employees. So the employees do not quit their jobs. Maybe they don't want to leave their jobs, but unfortunately the company has to let them go for some reason. So for example, thousands of employees were laid off because of the pandemic. Thousands of employees were laid off because of the pandemic. Now, in this example, we're using the phrasal verb lay off in the passive voice, all right? Because we don't necessarily want to blame the company because maybe it wasn't the company's uh, first choice or the company's fault, all right? There are external factors in this situation. So unfortunately, thousands of employees were laid off. 
Another example, we're doing everything we can to avoid laying anyone off. We're doing everything we can to avoid laying anyone off. Another example, unfortunately, we have to let you go. Unfortunately, we have to let you go. So you might be saying this to someone if you are um, letting them go or laying them off, all right? So if you have ever been laid off, you may have heard this. You can also use lay off or let go in a job interview or when you are telling someone about why you were let go from your last company, all right? So for example, you can say, unfortunately, I was laid off due to the company being sold. I was laid off due to the company being sold or whatever the case may be, all right? So lay off and let go. Next, we have run by. Run something by someone. Now, this means to share an idea, to get approval or to get an opinion, okay? To get approval or to get an opinion. So you can easily use this one at work regardless of your industry if you want to get someone's opinion, advice, or approval. You could say, do you have a minute? I would like to run some ideas by you. Or when you have a minute, I'd like to run some ideas by you. So this means I'd like to share some of my ideas and of course, get your opinion. Another example, we'll have to run this by management for approval. We'll have to run this by management for approval. So again, run something by someone means to share it with them so that you can get their opinion or their approval. And phrasal verb number five is put forward. Put something or someone forward. Now, put forward means to propose or recommend something or someone to another person who's in a position of power or a position to make decisions. So you recommend something maybe to your boss hoping that they will say yes or hoping that they will move this thing that you recommend forward, okay? So, for example, my boss loved the idea. She told me she will put it forward to management. My boss loved the idea and she told me she would put it forward to management. So maybe I gave my boss an idea, but this idea needs to be approved by management. Okay, so there's me, my boss, and then the management team. So she has put my idea forward, which she's basically helping my idea to progress. Another example, Joe was put forward for a promotion. Joe was put forward or recommended for a promotion. And one more example, we will be putting forward three designs and one will be selected. We, we will be putting forward or presenting three designs and one will be selected. Draw up, step down, lay off, put forward and run by. There you have five very common professional phrasal verbs that you can use at work. Don't forget to check out my Essential English for Business course. I've also created a free ebook for you, English Conversations Made Simple. This ebook is to help you level up your English conversation and communication skills. It's free. Click the link below the lesson and I'll send you your copy. If you have any questions on the topic, please do leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and for learning with me today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and I'll see you very soon in the next one.